If you recently purchased a Breville espresso machine, you might have received one of these little devices. So today, we'll be explaining what it's used for, and also why you should put it right back in the box where you found it, and leave it there. First, let's understand why Breville would include an accessory like this in the box. With a large percentage of Breville customers being first-time espresso machine owners, they face an uphill battle of teaching new home baristas the frustrating process of dialing in espresso. To help them do this, they've included dual wall or helper filter baskets, which we explain the advantages and disadvantages of in a video that I'll leave linked up here. For those who want the true single wall espresso experience, they included the razor. The benefits of the razor are twofold. It helps to reduce any variation in dose caused by using their time-based grinders, and it ensures that the coffee bed is low enough so that it doesn't contact the shower screen once locked in. Sounds good in theory, but here's why you should absolutely not be using it. Reason one is that you actually lose control over your dose. Scraping off coffee at an arbitrary level means that the actual weight of coffee left in the portafilter can vary massively depending on your grind setting and how hard you tamp. To demonstrate this, the portafilter on the left was filled with a coarse grind and the right a fine grind. Using the razor left me with a dose of 19.5 grams on the left and 22.3 grams on the right, which would lead to drastically different tasting cups if the same shot size was pulled from both. Reason number two that you shouldn't be using the razor has to do with puck prep. One of the golden rules of espresso is to create an even, beautiful bed of coffee and never disturb it after tamping. Scraping off a layer of coffee from your already tamped puck definitely qualifies as disturbing the surface, which can lead to channeling or uneven flow, and again, a bad tasting cup of espresso. So, what should you be doing to ensure that you're getting a consistent dose and are tamping deep enough to clear the shower screen? Well, the dose is a very simple one to fix. Get yourself a scale. Our budget recommendation costs next to nothing, and you should be using it anyways when dialing in for both your dose and yield. The issue of proper puck depth is also relatively simple to address. Tamp your puck, lock it in, and then take it back out. If you can see the impression of the shower screen, you aren't tamping deep enough. Take note of the level and remember for next time. If you want help remembering, you could use a palm tamper. Once set to the correct depth, it's a cinch to repeat time after time. So that was our brief overview of why you should not be using the Breville razor. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.